Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how to test a throttle body on this 2002 Mercedes with a four-cylinder engine. The throttle body on this car is electric operated. It doesn't have a mechanical flap. Therefore, the whole unit is made of a valve motor, the one which moves the valve. The valve itself, the throttle return spring, then you've got two potentiometer or so-called throttle position sensors. So all these components are in the same unit and cannot be replaced separately. Some of you asked if you have to adjust the throttle when you install a new one. The answer is no, because it comes calibrated from the fabric. However, on a mechanical operated throttle from older models, you will be able to replace the throttle position sensor. Therefore, it might need adjustments when installing it. With that being said, first let's test the valve motor. For that, just remove the cover and start the car. Visually inspect if the flap, this flap or valve moves proportionally with the acceleration pedal. This is just in case that you don't get any response when pressing the acceleration pedal. In case you don't see any movement of the valve, move forward and test the accelerator pedal position sensor. I will have to make a separate video about that. Now let's say the flap moves when you press the acceleration pedal. The next thing to inspect is the return spring, which basically press back the flap. For that, disconnect the wires and gently press on the flap like so and it should return back quite smoothly and let's see hopefully you can hear you can hear the noise so you hear that also one important thing make sure that the throttle body is disconnected when you do this test when you press on the valve in order to avoid damaging it because if the motor has power and you press on the valve you will press against the motor and you might damage the connection between the valve and the motor. Next you've got the flap itself which should be relatively clean with no major carbon around the edges. If you do have some carbon deposits then that might be almost certain causing the trouble codes you have. And by the way there is an older video I made on how to remove and clean the throttle. I will put a link over here. Now the funny part in order to test the TPS the throttle position sensor Let's see first how it works. So a throttle position sensor or TPS is actually a potentiometer which basically is going to change the voltage resistance upon a mechanical movement. Therefore, when the valve is open by the motor, the potentiometer will send an exact amount of voltage which is going to be proportional with the angle of the valve and the PCM will calculate exactly how much air is going to the intake. For example, if the valve opens, the voltage resistance will decrease, allowing more voltage to go through the signal wire into the PCM and the PCM will know how much and when to adjust the fuel injection based on this and other sensor signals like mass airflow sensor or MAP sensor. So on this car, as I said, there are two potentiometers which monitor the position of the throttle valve. The PCM will use both potentiometers to compare their signal if one goes bad, you'll be able to use the second one. Also, meanwhile, you'll get a code. Now, in order to test the TPS with a voltmeter, set it to 20 volts and use some thin probes to check for voltage between the ground and the signal wire. So I'm going to connect back the throttle. Now I'm going to turn the key in the second position. Just make sure that the probes will not touch each other. Otherwise, you'll fry the PCM. So the signal wire should have a low voltage when it's idling or is off and it should increase when you press the acceleration pedal. You can see you will probably need two persons to do this test. One should hold the probes on and read the voltmeter and one should press on the pedal. So what you are looking for is of course a proportional increase in voltage compared to the movement of the valve. In my situation I could not read properly the results because the probes were not making continuous contact due to engine vibrations. Now let's say you notice a good response of the TPS. The next thing you do look for is a drop in signal. Let's say you can see the voltage rising and suddenly you see a lower rating even though the valve is still opening. In that case it's a clear sign that the TPS is malfunctioning and it needs to be replaced. Now, of course, it will be difficult to catch the change on a voltmeter, but if you have a scan tool or an oscilloscope, you will see the graph of the TPS signal. Like in my case, I've got this cheap scan tool, which is showing how much the valve is open. Sometimes it shows in percentage instead of voltage, but it's pretty much the same. And what you are interested in is, as I said, is a continuous variation of the signal 
as you can see the line on the graph is rising as I press the pedal and again it decreases as I let off the pedal the symptoms of these disruptions might cause the engine to stall or get misfired codes. The PCM will think that you let off the acceleration pedal when in reality you did not and it will adjust the injectors to spray less fuel into the cylinders. Therefore, you'll get lost in power just because the throttle position sensor is sending wrong signals to the PCM. Then you'll get a trouble code which sometimes might refer to another part like a MAF sensor or a misfire code as I said or even MAP sensor. So very important, not all the time the code itself will tell you with 100% accuracy which part you need to replace. Only in the situation when you can confirm that one or more components of the throttle body is faulty then you can go ahead and replace the unit. Now let me show you another test you can do. Is going to be the resistance between the signal wire and the reference wire. There are six pins in there and I'm going to catch one of them like so. I'm going to turn the voltmeter on the resistance. So you can see when I press the valve the resistance is changing. That's what you want to see. It's another confirmation that the potentiometer is still doing its job. Alright guys, I hope this video answered some of your questions regarding the throttle position sensor and the throttle body. Hopefully you not have to replace the unit after you do this test. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this channel and you want to see more car repair videos, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, drive safe and I will see you soon.